Some people are saying this is a, a massive failure of Brexit. It's a huge failure of Brexit. Is it? Yes, absolutely. It's a failure of the government to be able to control both legal and illegal migration. It's a failure to be able to deal with asylum. And the problem with it now is the voters will look at the Conservative Party and say, you're no longer a party of low taxation. You're no longer a party of managing small businesses and looking after them. And you're no longer a party of controlling immigration. And you, they've lost three key pillars of what it is to be an actual Conservative. And when you're looking at these numbers, these numbers will continue to be higher. And Claire talks about mm. the uh, student <laughs> numbers coming up. The government has relaxed its policy on students. You're seeing a 71% increase in the number of students that are coming here. When you look at the Hong Kong program, we're offering 2.25 million people the opportunity to come to the UK okay. if they want um, to under that scheme. And of course, there's no control of illegal migra migration either over the channel or on the backs of lorries. Yeah, well, look, you mentioned the channel there. Claire, it's all very well and good people say, look, we just want to turn these boats back or we just want to send them back to France or whatever. Another solution could be to have safe and legal ways in which people can claim asylum abroad. Because if we're seeing some of these figures come through, which we are, which is that 90% of Albanian men who have tried to claim asylum here in the last year have been turned down, if they knew that Britain wasn't essentially just a plot of land that was a free-for-all for people, and they had to apply for asylum in their own country, then they wouldn't have bothered to make the journey anyway, would they? Well, I think that's really important. And it's something that I've advocated for some time is that you need to look at where people are coming from and have places set up already across the globe. It's going to require some assistance from EU countries, from the Middle East and Asia to put in these uh, potentially like the refugee camps that you already see in places mm. like Jordan and Greece. If UNHCR okay. can manage those refugee applications, I'm sure that we can work yeah. with them to provide some kind of processing centre. And then you remove that need for people to travel across and make that horrible journey between Calais yeah. and Dover and end up on our shores. You remove that pull away if they can make that application. Now, it may be that they're not eligible for entry into the UK, and that's fine. They may, if they are seeking a safe country, actually find that they yeah. are welcome in a different country. It could be Belgium, it could be Germany, it could be Canada. There yeah. are many, many options open to them. So it's not just saying apply over there and you will get in. It's to have their claim assessed in a safe manner.